Welcome to Cancel Me Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to go down an energy, a satanic energy drink rabbit hole. We're going to start out with Monster, and then we're going to end off with this trash liquid death. Hey, Amen. And I don't know who's ever drunk this Monster drink before, or if you're still drinking this nonsense, but I advise you to stop. This drink is demonic. And uh, yeah, let's play a clip of this lady talking about this drink. Now, this is a couple years ago, right? But it's surfacing again, um, especially now that this whole liquid death situation is just spiraling. Um, it's going uh, up, and people are wondering, you know, what is it, and what it, what does it really consist of, and is it really just demonic, right? Because you got different people trying to stick up for it, and you got other people exposing it. Well, I'm here to expose it. Hey man, but let's let's talk about this whole monster drink first. Let me show y'all a video of this lady talking about it from a couple years ago. Connect. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew six 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 on the can. No coincidence, people. As she's talking and explaining this to you, remember there's no coincidences. This is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Mm. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. They can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> MILF, stick it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monster's ad. This is their statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people and product, so can Satan. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft when the cross goes upside down? Bottoms up. So, clearly this is a revelation given to her from God. You don't just see things like this and be like, oh my gosh, this is that. That's the, You know, it's the Lord speaking to you when you start seeing things like this. And I never knew. That was a cross on Monster. Never even thought about it. Never wondered. None of that. I drank Monster a couple of times. Even though I'm not a big energy drinker, I've drunk Monster a couple of times. Um, you know, different energy drinks. But never looked at that. Never thought about that. Never was like, oh, my gosh, this is a cross. Oh, my gosh, these may be this. What, what is this M? Never. You don't see things like this. You don't really look into it. But the fact of the matter is we have to start doing that because everything around us is meant to be our downfall if we're really being honest, especially as children of God. And this is why I said let's raise the kingdom. This is why on different vid a lot of different videos I'll show, you know, kingdom websites and kingdom artists and things like this because we need to raise the kingdom and, and push all this demonic stuff out because they are. You know, uh, trying to manipulate us and brainwash us and bring us into spiritual covenant. Right now, this is what I want to say. This is very interesting. Before we go on to liquid trash, I mean death. This is a cross right here. Also, also looks like a pitchfork. A cross in the middle of monster at that. But check this out. When you go to Amazon and want to buy a case of monster energy drinks, look how much it costs. Sixty six dollars, sixty nine cents. Six, six, six. You think that's by coincidence? If you are watching this video right now and your mind is on, oh, that's just a coincidence, you are lost. You are lost. 
And I pray the Lord give you light and revelation. And may you wake up from your sleep. $69.69. Who even, what, what is 69 cents from the dollar ever? It's always 99. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Demonic. If you were drinking this before, stop drinking this trash. You got people that you know drinking it? Share this video to them. This is a demonic trash drink. There's a lot of more energy drinks out there. Drink that one. Stop supporting satanic agendas. Because, listen, you may think to yourself, well, it's just an energy drink. No, 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 no. When you support satanic agendas like this, the money that they receive go into satanic rituals. I'm going to say it again. When you support satanic drinks and say satanic businesses, the money they receive goes into satanic rituals. Now, do you know what satanic rituals consist of? Blood, children. So if you are supporting this with your money, you're supporting that. You've been told. Now, let's go on, let's go on to this liquid death trash trap. Liquid death. My cousin made a video about this, and he said, uh, in case no one <laughs> in case no one got it by the title, Liquid Death. I don't understand as a Christian, how could you ever, how could you ever see a can like this and just want to drink it? How? You have no conviction, my friend. You have no conviction. I would never want to pick up a can that says Liquid Death. And drink, it, it just wouldn't cross my mind. I'd be like, why? What kind of company? That's what would cross my mind. Seeing something like this. Now, let's go to the website. They have a category. They have a section on here that says sell your soul. Boy, oh, boy. As if Monster, see, Monster, see, Monster was, was veiled. Right? Monster was veiled. Now it's just, it's all becoming out there and in the open. This is crazy. This is crazy. Because it's also just, you know, it's showing us what the Lord is doing. Right? The Lord is unveiling himself. We are in Revelation. The Greek word for Revelation is apocalypse, which were derived from the two words apple and kalupto. Apple meaning to remove. Kalupto means the veil. So there's a re there is a removing of, the removing of the veil happening right now because we are in Revelation. So there's a removal of the veil happening right now. Where Christ is unveiling himself. Hallelujah. And look at this. Evil just unveiling itself. Monster was hidden. Right? This woman had to receive revelation and go in and dig to find out that it was a satanic brand. This, my friends, is just completely in the open. They have a section on their website that says, sell your soul. And you got people who will look at this and say it's a parody. You got people who look at this and say it's satire. What kind of buffoonery? Sell your soul. Boy, oh boy. The Liquid Death Country Club. Selling your soul to join the club gets you one free country club exclusive tea when you spend $50 on liquiddeath.com. This is trash. Complete trash. Full name, email address, pay cash, sell my soul. And on the bottom right here, in small words, ladies and gentlemen, by selecting sell my soul, I agree to receive important info and offers from Liquid Death since they will own my soul for eternity. Why even play with that? Why even play with that? Just to even play with that shows you have no conviction. And you need to pray to God why you don't. When you don't feel... W w listen, 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 listen. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell you guys the truth. There are many churches out here that have a spirit that's not the Holy Spirit. The Lord said, many will come to me, and I will say, depart from me. I never knew you. 
That word nu is the Greek word gnosko. It's talking about a Jewish idiom for intercourse. So when the Lord says, I never knew you, he's saying, I never impregnated you with my seed. Because Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word. That word seed is the Greek word sporos, or Hebrew zora. It's talking about sperma. It's talking about God's DNA. That word nu, gnosko, is the same word that Mary used when she said, how can I be pregnant? I never knew a man. So if Jesus is saying, depart from me, I never knew you. He's saying, I never impregnated you with my seed, with my DNA. You don't have me inside of you. So when you don't feel conviction and stuff like f for things like this, you may have a spirit that's different than the Holy Spirit. The son of perdition will come and sit in the temple of God pretending to be God. That word temple in the Greek is naos. It's talking about a spiritual temple. There's two words for the word temple in the, in the, in the Bible. Haron and naos. Haron was the temple that, that Jesus went to when he whipped the money changers. Naos is the temple that is talking about the son of perdition was sit in. Naos is the temple that's talking about in Corinthians when he says we are the temple. That's naos. So the son of perdition is sitting in a lot of these temples in the churches. A lot of these Christians' temples have the set of perdition in it. They think it's the spirit of God, but it's not. So when that day comes, when the Lord says, depart from me, I never knew you, it's because you don't truly have the Holy Spirit in you. And when you don't feel conviction for things like this, you don't have the Holy Spirit in you. I don't care who it is. Check yourself. Pray to the Lord and ask why. Why is this not affecting me? Why when I see things like this, I don't feel conviction? Or if you do feel conviction and you just ignore it, you need to repent. Especially if you talk about things like this and lead people to join that same thing that you're talking about. Especially if you have followers and people are following you when it comes to things like this. They got a whole section on here called Sell My Soul. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. People look at this like it's a joke. We hired a real... Now, 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 now pay attention. We hired a real witch to trap real... This is their YouTube channel. This is on their YouTube channel. We hired a real witch to trap real demons inside our cans of water. And likely... In the likely event that you become possessed from drinking the demon-infused liquid death, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, we are offering a coupon for $1 off an exorcism. Let's watch the video that that caption was on. Have you ever heard of a real witch summoning demons and trapping them inside cans of water? Inside this very warehouse sits the entire inventory of liquid death mountain water. Each can is about to be infused with real demons by a real witch. A lot now listen to me. Listen to me close, brothers and sisters. Oh my gosh. People like this will tell you something like it's a joke. Or like it's just it's funny games, but in all actuality, it's real. Satan masquerades around like an angel of light. Nice, joyful, fun, happy. Like this is giving me the chills even looking at this nonsense. Of what I practice can be considered traditional witchcraft. What you're about to witness is very real, very dangerous, and in my opinion, a terrible idea. We enter into the dark half of the year. Now is the time of the dead. I ask you, spirits, those who are listening, I invite you here. What the heck? What the heck going on? You got people, You. this is on the website. No, this is on the YouTube of Liquid Death. This is Liquid Death's YouTube channel. I offer this water as a vessel for you to come into this world. For you to come into this world. Who do you think she's talking about? Boy, oh boy. 
How are we even having this discussion? How don't people see this and be like, yeah, that's completely off. Let me expose this whole company. When the cans are opened, you are released. I welcome you. Now is the time of the dead. Demon infused liquid death. When the cans are opened, you are released. Will you become possessed? In likely event that you become possessed, visit our merch store to download a coupon. Oh, my Lord. And look at this. They have memberships on the website, guys, for $125,000. What do you think that gets you? And it's not a joke. You put that bad boy in your cart, $125,000, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. This is a membership to join. This is a liquid death membership. What do you think that gets you? Maybe into one of these satanic ritual parties where you thought it was a joke this whole time and you finally end up over there like, oh my gosh, what's going on? They start feeding you different drinks and mess around and make you numb. Next thing you know, you're getting stuff cut out of you. Now hiring. Welcome to Liquid Death Corporation. We look forward to having you join us in our exciting mission to conquer the world and turn the human race into flesh batteries to power our giant marketing robots. With your help, we'll eventually ensure that all beverages will become liquid death. But just because you work for liquid death, it doesn't mean you'll be spared from the rest of humanity. However, if you do a great job, instead of turning you into a warm, gooey power source, we may allow you to become one of our pets. Boy, oh boy. And look at this. We're, we're just a funny beverage company who hates corporate marketing as much as you do. Our evil mission is to make people laugh and get more of them to drink more water more often, all while helping to kill plastic pollution. I wish the owner would call me and tell me it's a joke. I'd laugh in his face. Ha ha, very funny. Yeah, you may think it's a joke. Listen to me and listen close. Even the people who think this is a joke, some of them may. Some of them may just, the people that's working for this that think it's a joke. Some of them may just think it really is like just satire, just a parody, just funny and games just to get people to do this. You are in full deception and delusion. What you think is a joke is not a joke in the spiritual realm. You are people causing people to come into spiritual bondage, spiritual prison, spiritual covenant with this trash. And look at this. Do you love collecting severed heads and being part of a fancy exclusive clubs? Collecting heads, people. And look at all the colorful colors you know who likes colorful colors children look at this trash like what like look at this trash man if you are this is on the site if you are wondering why you have strange nightmares it's because one time we used a real witch i showed y'all that to infuse real demons into a whole warehouse of our water it was like a demon super leader event super spreader event for anyone who opened a can now these demons everywhere are everywhere and maybe even inside you so buy this shirt just to be safe and warn others to keep their distance from you see they think this is a joke they think the spiritual room is a dope joke they think that god is a joke they think that lucifer is a joke they really do they really 
Dude, they think it's a game out here. That's absolutely insane, people. They think it's a whole game out here. And they playing with y'all minds. I'm here to tell you it's not a game. I'm here to tell you quit letting them play with your mind. I'm here to tell you quit playing around with this trash. This is crazy. This is crazy. My cousin posted a video about this, so it got me, you know, um, thinking about this. I also had people share, with, you know, ask me to talk about the liquid death thing, thing, so I'll start looking into it. This is absolutely insane, people. And I pray y'all not. If you were drinking this, stop drinking it. Because you are supporting them by giving your money to them. And I told y'all where, where that money goes. At this point, you've been told if you continue doing that, you put yourself in judgment. It's not if the person changes. It's if the message, it's if the message is delivered. And the message has been delivered. I wipe my hands with it. Dangerous. Completely ridiculous. Step out of the out of the delusion, brothers and sisters. May the truth be may the truth be heard, may the light be seen, and may Christ be engrafted in you. May the Holy Spirit truly be with you to convict you with things like this and to convict you when people that you, when people talk about things like this in a good way. You should know inside of yourself. Listen to me. Even if I came on here saying this is okay, you should be like, um, let me do more digging. Always study to show yourself approved. Even when I say things, study to show yourself approved. No matter who it is. Mm -mm. Anyways, yeah, guys, I love you guys. Um, don't know. Like I said, my cousin got banned off YouTube the other day for no reason. So I don't know if they're going to ban me, you guys, but if they do. You guys want to support, go to my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. Um, also, you guys, stop shopping at these demonic stores. Go to GodlyVibes.com, G-O-D-L-Y-V-I-B-E-Z.com, and shop kingdom, amen? Let's start raising the kingdom of God and destroying the kingdom of darkness. I love you guys. God bless you.